65 days. You could make every day count at Ascension.
So this is our business. I won't even name the slide, but this is our business. So basically, in essence, the way we do is we partner with companies. That's why you have right now in this high performance delivery. Basically, we don't. The way I explain it is we are a whole lot of different companies all rolled into one. So we actually partner with a lot of different clients and we do a lot of business for them. So what we do here is a holistic approach with our clientele. So if you're going to look at it, we have the consulting, we have a system integration, application outsourcing, infrastructure outsourcing, and business outsourcing. So ang ginagawa namin is when we partner with clients, you know, we look at their processes, namin, what their business is all about, and the first piece of our business is to try to figure out, you know, what can we do to enhance what they're doing. Do we pass the incoming consultancy piece? Now, after that piece, if we want to partner, have a longer partnership with our clients, normally, and I think this is where you guys can relate, kiting na namin yung mga systems nila. Luma na may mga legacy nila. Do they need to build new technology? Do they want us to maintain or create new technology for us? And doon pumapasok yung pag-umbaw range team na nakikita yung sa slide, which is the system integration, the application outsourcing, and the infrastructure outsourcing. After that business piece, uh, there are some other core processes, some non-IT related, let's say accounting or some back office work, that Accenture can also come in and jump in to support this uh, client of us. Do na mga pumapasok yung aming outsourcing. And that's the reason why uh, ang clients namin normally they stay 10 or 4 years with us and we actually have a lot of alliances and partnership with different companies which makes Accenture a great place to be. You know? And uh, later on in the next few slides, I'm going to explain more about you know, what platforms do we do for technology, uh, how are we established, and what are we doing in the industry for us to continue to see uh, the opportunities here for us, especially for you guys who are Filipinos and who want to develop in the industry. So we're all together as a team. So, Anina, I talked about so this consultancy piece. There's the technology piece. There's also the what we call the corporate function, which supports all of our businesses, and we are all put together. And I chose to show a local faces here. These are actually employees of our delivery center because sometimes they feel when we when the industry talks about IT, when the industry talks about outsourcing, uh, we always see non-Filipinos as part of the picture. So I want to kind of tie it up. So the Philippines actually plays a big role in the IT industry and the outsourcing industry. We are one of the key players and we have a lot of opportunities that we are seeing right now, you know, as far as this industry is concerned. So again, the IT name, the IT group is composed of IT enthusiasts. So these are people who serve our clients from system integration, from developing, from maintaining, and these are the platforms that we work with. So I'm assuming that most of you as you are in the IT sector, are familiar with this terminology, but Accenture has a very diverse group of platforms that we support with. So from SAP, from Java, from Cobol, these are pretty much the yeah, older ones in the 21. We have the Oracle, PeopleSoft, and even new uh, upcoming technologies. Accenture has always been involved and have been one of the groups to pioneer this type of services for us. In BPO, we have a lot of uh, sector as well that we support with BPO. Uh, our, our outsourcing is because mostly in the Philippines when we talk about outsourcing, familiar lang tayo dito sa call center industry. Actually, outsourcing is a very big industry and there is a lot of platform that is being done uh, in outsourcing. And Accenture is playing is one of the major players as well in our outsourcing piece. So we have an FNA account. We do a lot of health and life sciences. Uh, we have a customer contact center, but it's small. Because what we do is we really focus on the high value type of work like custom. So most of our work na spins off from technology also goes into our outsourcing piece, like you know, having uh, telecom industries and the electronics industries in our group. Corporate function for us, these are the group that supports our business. Uh, this is where I came from, so recruitment is here, human resources, and the way we do our business is we support our IT and BPO to make sure that as a company we operate holistically for our clients. The next few slides would actually focus more on technology. We have a lot of 
subscribe as well depending on the demographics because this is an IT convention. I will focus more on uh, IT and what it means for you to be part of this industry. So, Karina, I mentioned that uh, you know the Philippines is really a very strategic place when it comes to the IT industry. For Accenture alone, we are one of the very strategic nodes. So here I'm showing all the different uh, offices in Accenture and Philippines is actually the second largest node for our company that supports the IT industry. As of today, uh, I think there are about 10,000 IT people uh, here in the Philippines supporting global companies. So we're supporting close to about 120 uh, countries from the Philippines in all of our different technology platforms. We focus a lot on our people. I think that's one of the selling points of what makes us different in Accenture. We invest a lot, especially for our technology uh, group. We spend yearly a whole lot of money to make sure that we are upskilling our people. And one of the things that I'm proud of as being part of this company is we have a very good and kind career counseling program that talks about your career opportunity and you know where you're headed at and what you want to do. These are some of the partners that we have, the alliances. So basically this slide just shows our approach when it comes to training. So if you would see, uh, in the technology industry, there is always opportunities for learning. And you actually need to learn as you go through the industry. After school, hindi kayo pa natapos dyan. As you enter into the workforce, there will always be a need for you to upskill yourself. And because Accenture serves a lot of different clients, and we have a lot of alliances, we actually leverage on this partnership to ensure that our IT professionals are up to date of any skills that they need. So we have a lot of different training channels. We leverage on these alliances to make sure that you know we are actually delivering the high performance uh, business that our clients are expecting from us. We also have a career model. Um, in Accenture, this is very important for us as well because this will define where you want to go, how fast you want to grow, or what do you want to do as far as your career is concerned. So, siguro, I've been doing some company talks already and we've been uh, talking to the industry. One of the things that we have seen, uh, at least in the last few years, is there is a gap between the, uh, the, uh, the academy or the academy and the industry as far as the readiness of our students to go into the workforce. So you have passed from or coming from a classroom to a boardroom, the transition, medyo there needs to be a lot of work, you know, that uh, the industry, the academy, and even the government needs to do or to partner up to make sure that the new workforce is ready. So in Accenture, part of our uh, way to do, ensure that, you know, the, the, school, uh, the classroom to the boardroom transition is easy is our career model, and it always ties up with all of our training. We have what we call an Accenture Innovation Program. We actually have a lot of partnership with different universities. Uh, and this is both in our IT sector and, and in the outsourcing industry. And this is our way of ensuring that we are helping sign up that gap. So we have a lot of different programs under our AEP program. So we have internships, we have long-term internships actually that brings in people and you know, let them feel how it is to work and be part of a company even prior to graduation. Para after you guys graduate, then you can decide what do you want to do. If you want to continue to pursue that career or do you want to you know, do something else. And this is a very um, big opportunity for us for Accenture kasi we have pioneered a couple of uh, partnership with a lot of major universities in ensuring that our growth is coming in. So when I talk about, you know, being 4,000 back in 2003, or close to 1,000, next year we're projected that we're going to be around 30,000. And our tremendous growth is because of this. This is one of our strategic approach in ensuring that we are growing uh, and providing a lot of opportunities to Philippines here in the Philippines. One of the things that I'm also proud of um, as far as Accenture is our core value. This is one of our differentiators. Uh, for some of you, siguro in the last year or so, the piece of Accenture was Tiger Woods. No? So Tiger Woods was really the model for Accenture. He created a lot of opportunities for us to be well known. Uh, but we all know the issues of what happened with Tiger Woods and when he became a cheetah, we kind of had to, you know, uh, Parang stop that relationship because one of our core values is integrity. 
as far as our core values, we are so focused on our core values that accenture people are expected to operate within the six core values as we go along with our business. And this is what makes us different, I guess, from, from other companies is because this type of core values builds on the relationship that we have with our clients and it helps us maintain those relationships. We are also very diverse and we have a lot of inclusions. So Accenture is also proud to be in Knesset Sabi no Ati Mahos. We are equally, we have an equal opportunity uh, uh, kind of company. So we have a lot of diversity and uh, we have a lot of organization in the company that spells out all of this diversity for us. Obviously, a lot of the companies are also into the corporate citizenship program. Accenture is also one of those uh, who partners with a lot of uh, other organizations, uh, both government and NGOs, are, are part of the corporate social responsibilities. We have environmental uh, uh, activities, we have land and we have invitations as well. And one of the things that we are really uh, doing as far as the education is the Bona Boy by project for us. This is a small place, I don't know some of you might know this, but a small place somewhere in the south of Visayas where we support a program. We started this almost 10 years ago. And when we started, we drew in school or one of the people who support us. And if I got mistaken last year, eh, the first few graduates uh, that we were able to sponsor are now with us. And this is in the IT industry. Okay. So Accenture also, obviously we, we work hard, we do a lot of things, but we also have a lot of different things in our company that provides uh, opportunity for growth not only from your professional career but also in your personal life. So we have a lot of organizations. So we have a lot of organizations. Anything that you want to do, actually we have it in Accenture. All the different types of sports, we have those organizations. If you want to learn how to dance, to sing, to play, we have those organizations. We have organizations that teaches languages. If you want to learn how to speak French, Koreans, we have those type of organizations as well that supports that. And I think one of the things that we're also very good at is party. We party a lot in Accenture. So pretty much everyone or different organizations would have their own uh, parties to celebrate our success. Uh, I think this is my last slide. Um, this is just some of the, I, I would call it bragging rights, but just to show in the IT industry what we have done and where we are. Uh, and you know, what, what we have accomplished and where we want to go. So, these are a couple of the things that we've done. We've actually been made uh, global, you know, actually made global data for at least eight years now by IAOB. So it's 2008 to 2010. We're no longer 47, we're actually number 5. <laughs> in the business, we have top 100 best companies to work for, for the brands. And we continue to be the Microsoft partner for the year, and for PESA, it's for the last three years, of, again, that we've been named as one of the outstanding employers for our fortune industry. Okay. And with that, siguro, I'll just put my little POV, no? Um, in a way, when I do my company talks, kasi I'm, in a way, used to a smaller group, and, you know, it's kind of difficult for a big group. But, um, my, my, I know some of the other representatives from other companies talk about a lot of the different industry trends and you know, they've given a lot of learnings. And siguro for me, uh, what I just want to impart as I end my talk daily is, you know, some of you I think are in the second or third year going to fourth year. Some of you will be ready to go to the workforce as early as next year. And my advice to lang is after school, go find work. <laughs> I think right now it's very competitive. It's not only locally but globally we're becoming very competitive. And we're seeing a lot of opportunities. But as we see these opportunities, there is also a lot of people buying in for the opportunities. So you guys like this event, uh, this industry event, it creates a lot of that opportunity for you as early as now to know, you know what companies you want to look for when you finish school and when you have friends and to help you make those decisions. So, you know, after school, I highly advise, you know, if you have the opportunity to get a job immediately with a company that will provide you with training opportunities, then, you know, jump at it. If your university have partnership with this company, I highly advise you to take those opportunities and leverage on all of those trainings because it's really a very competitive world. And you do need, you need to upskill yourself to make sure that you are ready from school, uh, from classroom to work. So with that, thank you. Thank you for giving us this opportunity to present who we are. And if you have some questions, I'll be happy to.